Welcome back, everyone. It is still Nostalgia T-shirt week. Check out some of these pictures from when, uh, before it was a black belt. That was red, white belt. Uh, unsure what belt that was, but I'm all the way to the left on the screen. Uh, and then coming up here is when I was on Max Edge and not a uh, black belt quite yet, so I have a gray belt on. And I'm the second person in that photo. All right, y'all. So it's day two of doing the videos this week. So hopefully you've been doing your push-ups and sit-ups every day this week leading up to the second video. Um, if you have great work, you're getting stronger. If not, that's okay. Do your best to get those in and we're gonna get some work in right now to try to get stronger, all right? So again, we're gonna go down on that push-up position. You want your back flat, arms straight up like this. You're gonna bend your knees, or bend your arms <laughs> As much as you can, we're gonna do five push-ups. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job, give yourself a hand. You're getting stronger and stronger each time you do that. We're gonna flip on our back, we're gonna do our sit-ups. It's the same thing as last time. You want those feet on the floor, knees up, back flat, Keep your arms up. It's always a great habit to keep your arms up by your face. Again, block that head. Ready? On high count, you're gonna go all the way up or as far as you can and back down. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, and five. Give yourself a hand. You did it, you're getting stronger. Say better and better. Bring it on the challenge. Nice. All right, we are gonna review our accuracy sequence from the last video, and then I'm gonna add a little challenge. All right, so this is our second video of the week. We are gonna revisit our accuracy set series. So that's that jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. And we're gonna take it to another level. We are going to do it facing all directions, all right? Because we don't know which way we might get attacked from. This also gives us the opportunity to get, you guessed it, better and better and grow to show that accuracy, all right? So first off, we'll face, you'll face me in the video. Fall back in your guard stance. Ready? You're gonna do it with me. Go, jab, cross, Hook, roundhouse kick, and back. Now, you're gonna face your belly button towards the back of the room. All right, so you're looking towards the wall that was to your right or to your left. And we're gonna do this again, ready? Go, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick, and step back. Nice job, that was two ways. We're gonna look towards the back of the room. Our belly button's gonna face the opposite wall that we were just kicking at. And we're gonna do this together. Ready? Go, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. Step back. That was three times. Last way, face the direction you have not yet faced, so it's the opposite wall than you did that second time. Guard stance, ready? Go, jab, cross, Hook, roundhouse kick. Nice job, you just did it from every single direction. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. So we are gonna do our four attack, or all four directions accuracy sequence again. But this time, I'm just gonna say go, all right? And you're gonna go at your own pace and you're gonna do the sequence twice, all right? And I'm looking for you to do your best. So whatever that means for you, be honest with yourself, do your best. Grow every single time, all right? Fall back to your guard stance. Hey Two times in this direction. Go. Hey hey nice job. We're gonna face our belly button towards the back of the room. We're looking towards one of the walls next to us. Two times, getting better and better. Go.
Nice job. Attacker number three, we're gonna face the back of the room. Repeat after me. Say better and better. All right, two times. Go. All right, last attacker. Face the wall you have not yet faced. Fall back in the guard stance. This is your opportunity to do your very best. Be honest with yourself. Push yourself, ready? Guard stance, go. Give yourself a hand, way to go. Time for action karate form one. So now I'm gonna challenge you. We are going to do action karate form one facing all directions, all right? Just like a compass, north, south, east, west, all right? Every single time, you guessed it, we're growing, we're getting better. So we'll start facing forward, do this with me. This time I'm just gonna say go, and we're gonna go through our form, all right? Action, karate, form one. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Set. Victory. Humility. Courtesy. Man. All right. Let's face this wall over here. Action karate form one. Man. Guard stance. Go. Did you do your best? If you did, give yourselves a hand. If you didn't, I want you to rewind the video and do that again. And this time, do your very best every time. If you did do your best, you can still rewind the video just to get that extra practice in. Totally up to you. What I want you to do is pause the video if you have to, go get your adult in the house, all right? If they're not already with you, ask them to come and watch your form. You're gonna do your form for them, all right? So again, you can pause this video to do this. You're gonna do your form for them. Right in front of them, go all the way through, just like you were doing it for me. When you get to the end, I want you to be honest with yourself and honest with your adult. Tell them one thing that you could do better and then show them again and make that thing better. So it could be, again, some examples are low stance. It could be, having better chambers or re-chambers. It could be kicking higher. It could be having louder kios. It could be not messing up on the move you messed up all on the first time because we all make mistakes. Just something that you can be honest with yourself, honest with them, and show them how you can get better, all right? So I want you to do that and then um, come back to the video. So adults in the household, you may not wanna go too far because I will be asking them to Utilize you for both their technique and their self-defense that will be coming up um, shortly. So last week, we used our star block set in Fruit Ninjas. This week, 
we are going to use it in real life motion. So you might have to pause the video. That's okay. Um, go get an adult if they're not already there with you and ask them to bring something soft. That could be a pillow from the couch, pillow from the bedroom, stuffed animal. Could be a t-shirt rolled up in a ball. Something soft that they could throw at you, all right? You're gonna be in your horse stance and you're gonna ask your adult to throw it at you. Same thing as Fruit Ninja last week. If it's coming up from right here, you're gonna do your block. If it's from the side, you can either do out or you can go in across like this. If it's really low, you're gonna do low block, all right? Again, keeping that horse stance that whole time. All right, so pause the video and get your adult. And I want you to do that until you've at least hit the moving target at once, all right? You might miss the first time. You might get it the first time and then miss the second time. That's okay. We're gonna make mistakes. Making mistakes is how we learn and grow. It's important not to be like, oh, I messed up. I'm not good at karate. I can't do this. Or if we tell ourselves that, we're, we're stopping ourselves from growing. So you wanna tell yourself, okay, didn't get it last time. This is what I can do to get it this time and I'm gonna get better and better, all right? Pause the video, go make it happen. And now it's time for self-defense. So we are working on our overhead club self-defense. So that means again, someone has a club, a baseball bat, a large stick, something, they're trying to hit you in the head. All right, let's do this together. Hands up, I don't want any trouble. First thing, get out of the way. All right, I stepped out of the way, so now the object would be going past me. Just for safety precautions, we're gonna block. We're gonna do an up block above our head. We're not blocking the stick or the bat. We're blocking their arm. We're gonna swing it around. So now their own arm, their own weapon hits them. Our back legs can do roundhouse kick. Everyone take two steps away, get into a guard stance. All right, let's do that again. Hands up, I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna say go, we're gonna do the whole thing. Go, ayo, 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 ayo. Nice. All right, so how we're gonna practice this self-defense is you're gonna pretend that I'm the bad person and this is what I'm hitting you with, a little metal pole. All right, so when I swing, you're gonna do your self-defense, all right? And I'll pause for you to finish the whole thing. Ready, go. Ooh. Ooh. Pretending like you hit me. <laughs> all right, let's do that again. Hands up, what do you say? All right, get ready. Did you get out of the way? Let's test it, ready? Hands up, what do you say? Did you make it out of the way? Finish strong. One last time. Nice job. All right, so just like last week, I used this metal rod thing to pretend to hit you over the head for our overhead club self-defense. You're going to, pause the video if you have to, as always, get an adult if they're not already with you, and ask them to bring something soft, all right? Again, pillow, stuffed animal, rolled up t-shirt, pair of socks, whatever it may be. They are going to throw it at you. You are going to step out of the way and then show them the rest of your self-defense. All right, two things. Most important thing, get out of the way. All right, so you're getting out of the way of that moving object. That's why you're stepping like this. Second most important thing. All right, you go through. You wanna end, show them you mean business. Bend those knees, your hands are up. You have a mean face on your yeah, like, Kia! All right, pause the video. Do it a couple times with your parent or your adult at home, make it happen. So your other self-defense is shoulder wrap. Someone grabs your shoulder, you're gonna trap it, step back. You're gonna bring your front hand all the way up, bring it around, you just trap their arm, all right? Think about punching this other one forward. You can let go now with the trapped shoulder, 
because you already have the arm trap. You're gonna twist and punch and then take your two steps away. All right, so let's do this together. Hands up, what do you say? I don't want any trouble. Trap, step back, hand comes up, around, let go, punch. One, two, ayo. This time I'm just gonna say go. I want you to think about how can you make this your very best? Hands up, I don't want any trouble. Go. Ayo. Nice work. So similar to our form, I want you to pause the video if you have to, get your adult, um, ask them to sit in front of you, and you're gonna show them your trap, wrap around, punch, two steps away, self-defense. You're gonna do it twice, all right? You're gonna ask them after the first time, did I scare you? See what your adult says. If they say no, how can you make it so that you scared them? Do you have to key out louder? Do you have to move faster? Do you have to make it look like you punched really strong? Any of those things, make it happen. If they said yes, awesome job. I want you to think about how you could be even better. It could still be any of those things, all right? So pause the video, get your adult. I want you to do this for your adult at least four times, all right? Ask them how you can get better, show them. Ask them how you can get better, show them. And then come back to the video. Time to practice our weapons. We're gonna be practicing with our nunchucks. Now, just like always, this is a weapon, um, so we need to respect the weapon. Uh, we also need to respect the home that we live in, so I need you to pause the video uh, if you have to. Go ask your adult if it is okay for you to use your weapon. All right, if you're practicing inside, you're gonna have to be careful for all the things in your home. Um, maybe your adult wants you to take your weapon outside, um, but whatever your adult says, that's what you should do. Um, if your adult says they do not want you practicing your weapon, then don't practice your weapon. Wait till you can go um, in the studio or for another time um, where you can get to that weapon. All right, so for this week, we're gonna review um, our greeting stance. Our greeting stance means our nunchucks go straight out. We hold them both in one hand and we make an upside down V, all right? Uh, when we do this, notice that I'm holding both um, chucks close to the chain, all right? You probably, you might have a string. Either way, it should be close to the end there. Not down in the middle, not way at the end, close to the top, right in an upside down V. After our greeting stance, we're going to bring a, the chuck to our shoulder. So what that means is that one elbow and chuck is going to go over the other one as that other side crosses our body to bring it to our shoulder. All right, so that's on one side and then do the other side. The other side is going to come across the arm while that other arm comes across the body up to the shoulder. One more time, slow each side. Cross arm, cross body, shoulder, undo it. Cross arm, cross body, shoulder, undo it. Now when we bring it to our shoulder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do high blocks or low block. All right, that's the right side, left side, same thing. High block, low block. Um, that might look a little different, uh, might be mirror image for you, but either way, you're going to do it on both sides, all right? So we're going to start with the right side. Every time I say high block, you're going to do that high block. Every time I say low block, you're going to do that low block. All right, so we are going to also practice our figure eights this week with our nunchucks. So what you're going to do is go to greeting stance and let go with one of your hands. All right, again, I'm holding close to the chain. When I do a figure eight, what I'm doing is I'm moving my wrist like a sideways eight. All right, circle one way, circle the other way. Do this with me a couple times. Notice I'm not trying to spin the truck. I'm simply doing a sideways eight with my hand. All right, once you've done that a couple times, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna swing the truck with it. All right, so you swing, the chuck. Notice that I'm mostly moving my wrist. All right, my whole arm is not going into it, just the wrist. All right, going back and forth each side. Do that a couple times. 
and then when to catch, all you're gonna do is open your hand and let it fall in. If you wanna pause the video and practice that for a little longer, um, perfectly all right, totally up to you. Now we're gonna practice figure eight in the other hand, all right? So bring that out, do that figure eight. Couple more. And open hand to catch. All right, so we're gonna put all of our moves together. You can go into greeting stance, then you're gonna go to horse stance. You're gonna bring the chuck over, let go with the bottom hand. You're gonna go down, up, down, up. You're gonna do triangle. Reach under, pull it out. Other side, down, up, down, up. Triangle, reach it out. Greeting stance. And then pick which way you want to do your figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, catch, keep together. Black belt lifestyle alert. We're talking about honesty. All right, since the black belt lifestyle skill is honesty this month, it's time for another honesty story. So this time it's about a boy named Tim and Tim, was talking to his parents his parents said that he wasn't allowed to go to the skate park by himself um because if his parents weren't there and something happened then they wouldn't be there to help um so timothy's friends though were pressuring him and saying we really want you to come to the skate park after school so timothy told a lie uh, he said that he was going to his friend's house to study for the test that they had uh, at the end of the week. So his parents dropped him off at his friend's house um, and him and his friend walked to the skate park. Now, lo and behold, when they were at the skate park, uh, Timothy fell and he got a big scrape on his knee. Now, he could still walk. It didn't feel like anything was broken. So he just uh, went about his day. Uh, when he went back to his friend's house and his parents picked him up, um, he had covered up the cut on his knee so that his parents wouldn't see. His parents asked him how studying went and he said that it went really well and he thinks he's gonna get an A on his test. So the end of the week comes, Timothy takes his test. His knee starts to feel really sore um, and he looks at it and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. Now, Timothy didn't want to tell his parents though, because then they would know he lied. So Monday comes around to get his test exam back. Um, and not only did he not get an A, he did not do well on his test. He, he failed his test. Um, and now his knee hurts so much he can barely walk. The teacher notices and asks him uh, to go to the nurse. So the nurse sees him limping, checks out his knee, sees the cut that he got, um, determines that it's infected, and s explains how she's going to have to call Timothy's parents. Now, Timothy tells the nurse, he says, no, 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 like, I, my parents don't know that I went to the skate park, I got this cut, they're going to be so mad at me. And so the nurse said, okay, well, I'll give you two options. Option one, I call your parents, and I tell them, and they have to come pick you up. Um, to get you to go to the doctor or I can call them and you can talk to them on the phone and tell them to the truth So Timothy decided to tell the truth um, And his parents, you know, they were concerned their main concern was making sure that he was safe and okay um, And Timothy felt so bad that he, he told his parents he was never gonna lie again. So Again, it's up to you. Are you going to be like a black belt a black belt in training and be honest from the beginning or try to get away with telling little lies and hope that you can get away with it. All right, since we're working on honesty this month, you wanna have that commitment to telling the truth. So even when it's hard, tell the truth right from the beginning. Excellent work today in class. Now don't forget to keep doing those five push-ups and five sit-ups every single day until it's been a week. You're gonna get stronger and stronger each time. And we started class with doing our five push-ups and five sit-ups for today. Then we went into our action karate form one. I lied. <laughs> Before we did that, we did our accuracy sequence. 
um, practice getting better and better. Then we did action cardio form one and uh, worked on getting better and better with that. We also worked on our star block set in motion and did our self-defense. We ended with practicing our nunchuck set and then talking about honesty. I had an awesome time making this video for you. I hope that you worked really hard and had a great time. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Don't forget next week is stripe test. So it'll be pre-test in the beginning of the week and then your actual stripe test towards the end of the week. So keep practicing. Can't wait to see you next week.